to Parade Academy, dear students. So today we will discuss uh, geography. Okay. So geography, this is for standard six, standard six and chapter this is five. The four realms of the earth. Okay, today we will discuss all question answer in this video one by one. So let's start. Okay, so this is your textbook, and we'll discuss the multiple choice question first. So choose the continent known as the continent of extremes. So answer is option A, that is Asia. That is Asia. Okay. So uh, next question is question number two. The world's largest river is the Amazon. Option C is the Amazon. So next question, one sixty-six page. So question number three. Major part of the fresh water on the Earth is found in three number A ice sheets. Then next question, question number four. That is the Amazon River basin is in South America. Then question number five, the most abundant gas in the atmosphere by percentage is nitrogen. Jada, बहुत ज़्यादा कौन है? So then next question number B, that is fill in the blanks. First question is carbon dioxide is a gas gas, greenhouse gas. The next is question number two, Lakshadweep is an example of an at all so you can match your question from your textbook this is only uh, your answer that am i showing i am showing so you can um, match this answer into the into your book and uh, write the uh, options or write if you fill in the blanks okay this answer helps you to write your homework so next question number three dash desert is present in the north of africa sahara desert so before the present continent the super continent was called das pangia then question number five das is the longest mountain race range in the world and is then next question number c and zoom out Question number C. What are the four major realms of the earth? So the four major realms of the earth are lithosphere, hydrosphere, atmosphere, and biosphere. Then question number two. Name the major continent of the earth. So Asia, Africa, North America, South America, Antarctica, Europe, and Australia are the uh, major continent of the Earth. Then question number three: Name the two continents that lie entirely in southern hemisphere. So South America and Australia are the two continents that lie entirely in the southern hemisphere. the next question number 4 what is meant by eurasia the second smallest continent europe is also called peninsula of asia so together they europe and peninsula of asia are called eurasia then next question number 5 in which layer of the atmosphere weather element are found troposphere okay the next Short answer type question. So short answer type question. Uh, option D. Uh, question number D. So differentiate between seal and sima. Seal is first option. It is a group of rocks rich in silica and aluminium. So sima group. It is group of rocks rich in silica and magnesium. so mostly are the continent are made up of seal uh, mostly uh, the ocean floor is made up of sima 
the next question number two question number two is why is the biosphere important for living organism biosphere is important for living organism because it is the interactive zone of lithosphere atmosphere and hydrosphere which helps to support life on the earth then or or, of, or is we can read right life exists in the biosphere all the living organisms are interlinked for their survival it consists of plants and animals in this sphere of uh, life lithosphere atmosphere and hydrosphere interact with and with each other then question number 2 sorry question number 3 question number 3 is what is evaporation evaporation is the key process involved in uh, hydrological cycle Evaporation is referred to the rise of water vapor from water water bodies with the help of solar energy. During evaporation, water vapor changes into the gaseous form. Then question number four. What is condensation? How does it occur? Condensation is the reverse process of evaporation. During condensation, water vapor present in the atmosphere changes from the gaseous state to tiny drop of water. Then question number 5. That is how are coral islands formed? So coral island have been formed on flat top landmass millions of years ago. The soil of these islands are white in appearance but are highly fertile the weakness in this soil is due to the coral's skeleton then question number e is long answer type question so draw the different layers of earth's interior and explain them individual diagram refer image below so interior of the earth you can see and make, make this image in your copy. Make this image, okay? So then you can write all details. So earth interior have uh, has been divided into three major layers. These are the crust, the mental, the core. In the crust, it is the it is out outmost rocky layer of the earth. It covers the earth like a skin. It is uh, thicker under the continents that under the oceans. It uh, its average thickness is between thirty five kilometer to forty kilometer. The next is the mantle. So the upper mantle lies beneath the crust. The lower mantle is found in a semi-molten and a then molten state. The core. The core lies uh, below the mantle. It is the deepest and the most in, uh, inaccessible zone of the earth. Then question number two. Then question number three. So what is the structure of the atmosphere? There are five major layers of the atmosphere. These are troposphere first. So this is the lowest layer which extends up to the up to a height of 18 km at the equator and 8 km at the poles. All weather activities like clouds, storms, rains and snow occur in this layer. Stratosphere, the layer above the troposphere extending from 18 km to 15 50 km called uh, stratosphere, then mesosphere, the layer between the gulfs of 50 km to 80 km in the atmosphere is called mesosphere, here temperature falls to 100 degrees Celsius which make it, it the uh, coldest zone of the atmosphere. The next point thermosphere the layer of above the 
thermosphere is known as thermosphere it is the zone of high temperature the lower portion of the top thermometer that lies between 100 km to 400 km is called ionosphere then come to the exosphere so exosphere it is outermost layer of the structure of the atmosphere and mixes with outer surface it has altitude of both 700 km the next question number 4 anything that surrounds us is known as our environment the different component of our environment natural environment natural environment also known as the physical environment because in it includes the physical elements of the place where organism lives elements of natural environment can be grouped into two kinds abiotic like water air soil rocks and biotic like plants animals and microorganisms human uh, env human environment man has the skill to modify the physical environment to satisfy his needs this modified environment created by man is called human environment it includes office schools hospital and homes so that's it you can if you cannot write this video then you can pause this video and uh, uh, make slow this video then you can write so that's it's the end uh, or don't forget to like and share subscribe thank you